Hey guys, Dave Bags here and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm gonna talk about disc versus digital when it comes to video games. Now traditionally everyone has purchase discs over you know a period of time we're just kind of transitioning into the digital download but I'm gonna tell you why I like digital download better than discs now I already have two videos on this but today I'm gonna to primarily focus on if you happen to own more than one console in other words if you have a console in the bedroom and you got one in the den two consoles in one house and I'm gonna tell you why digital download is the way to go now first I want to touch on something real quick before I get into it. A lot of people have responded to my other two videos saying that they like disc a lot better than digital downloads because they say they want to show people their library. Well, what I got here, I got here is a library of games. Now this may look like any ordinary library of games, but I download all of my content. What I did is I went on to Google and I just asked, hey, let me get some of the inlay cards for all these different video games. So I've got all the inlay cards for various video games. What I did is I bought a bunch of blank boxes and I went to Kinko's and printed these out. So now all of these empty boxes, they basically sit on my shelf. So when people say I wanna have a library of games to show people, it didn't cost me but a couple of dollars to do that and I was able to show people my library and I don't have a disc that's gonna break or scratch. Now, let's get into today's video and let me tell you why, if you have more than one console, why having digital content is better. First, let's talk about if you wanna use a disc. Okay, so let's just say you have two consoles in your house, okay? You got a primary console and then you also have a secondary console, okay? and now you have a friend that comes over. Let's say he wants to come over and play Titanfall 2, okay? Let's just pretend Titanfall 2 is out, and he wants to play Titanfall 2 with you, okay? But you only have one disc. Now, the only way to play Titanfall 2 with him, if he's gonna be on the secondary console, on the other console, what has to happen is basically you have to have another disc. So on the primary console, you gotta have one disc. On the secondary console, you're gonna have, a, you know, ha have to have another disc. And let's just say it's $59. So you're gonna pay $59 for one disc. Now you're gonna pay $59 for the other discs. That's $120 just to play one game at the same time in your house. Now, if you're, you're in my shoes and you got two Xbox One consoles, and you play all the time, all the games, you play Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Titanfall, whatever, Battlefield. Multiply that by two, and that's how much money you're gonna have to spend on games. To me, it's ridiculous, it makes no sense. So because I have two consoles, the reason I go with digital download is, you know, it's, it's quite simple. So on your primary console, let's just say I download Titanfall 2 on my primary console and I use Dave Bags which is my gamer tag. I'm gonna use Dave Bags as my account, my gamer tag, to download the game. So I go to the Xbox store, I go and I click on purchase, $59 later, the game starts downloading on the primary console. Fantastic, okay, perfect. Now I've got the secondary console sitting over here. Once this is downloaded on the primary console, I can shut it off. And now I can go to the secondary console and I can start downloading onto the secondary console. But you have to keep in mind that you have to download the game using the same account or gamer tag that you purchased the original uh, game with. So in this case, I purchased on the primary console, Dave Bags. Now I go onto the secondary console. I log in as Dave Bags. I go back to the Xbox store and guess what? it's not gonna charge you another $59. It's gonna ask you to download again, install again. You simply install, wait for the install, and now you've got the same game on the primary console, and you got the same game on the secondary console. Now, here's where it gets tricky. And by the way, I only paid one price, $59. Here's where it gets tricky, and you need to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what I'm saying, because if I lose you at any point, you're gonna be sending me comments down below saying play, or the Dave Bags, it doesn't work. What you said didn't work. So listen up. 
If you want to play on both consoles in your house at the same time, let's say you got a bunch of people over here on the primary side, you got a bunch of people over here, you guys want to get into a party, you want to play together. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the secondary console. Not the primary console. You're going to go to the secondary the secondary console and you're going to log in as Dave Bags in my case. You're going to log in with the same account. All right, I'm going to say it again. You log in on the secondary console with the same account that you originally purchased whatever game it is you're going to play. In this case, we're pretending we're playing Titanfall 2 even though it's not out. So you go to the secondary console, you log in. Log in as Dave Bags in my case. Now, the secondary console unlocks access to that game for Dave Bags because Dave Bags purchased that game. Now, whoever wants to play you, your friend, your, your, your brother, they go to the primary console. Now the primary console is the console that everybody can have access to if you have, uh, if you, have uh, um, you know, um, Xbox Live, you got the gold plan. Everybody can play on that console, it's no big deal. They log in and now both parties can join together, they can play that game together. It, you know, it, it works with every single game. The biggest problem, the biggest complaint and the biggest issue people have with this, they make this mistake all the time, is they download the game with an account to the primary console. They download the same game with the same account to the secondary console. And then, when they go play the game, they log in with that account to the primary console. You do not want to log in with the account on the primary console if you're going to use both Xboxes at the same time because you can't be in two places at once. The secondary console must have that account open and signed in to unlock that game, to allow that console to let you use that game. If you log into Dave Bags on the primary console and you log into Dave Bags over here on the secondary console, it's gonna log the primary console out. I know this sounds confusing, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible. Once you download the same game on both consoles with the same account, the same profile, the same gamer tag, whatever you want to call it, and you want to play your friend, that account has to log in on the secondary console. And then everybody else can log in on the primary console and they can play together. It's as simple as that. Now there's a lot of people out there that say, hey, that's a great idea, uh, Dave Bags, because now I can only pay one price and I can download it to both consoles and I can play all day till I'm blue in the face. Well, what happens if somebody throws my PlayStation or my Xbox out the window or it breaks? Okay, your Xbox, your PlayStation, it's broken. If you decide to go to the store and you wanna buy another console, you buy another console, you log in with the account that bought all those games, you go to the Xbox store or whatever the PlayStation equivalent is, and it's gonna allow you to download those games. It's not gonna charge you anything. Now, here's where downloading games is so much more convenient than disc. Let me give you an example as to what I'm gonna be doing next month. Next month, I'm going to be going back, back east to visit my family. And one person in my family happens to have an Xbox One, but they don't have all the games that I have. So I'm going out there with my family and my kids, and I'm gonna go out there. And when there's downtime, I figured, why not? Let the kids, let them go online, you know, online and play some games. So what, do, what would I do if I downloaded, what, I, what would I do if I had discs? Well, I would have to take all of my games, I would have to take all of these games and stuff them in a suitcase. Now, I remind you, these are thin. I'd have to put all these in a suitcase. And if you guys travel, you know anything about traveling, <laughs> they don't even let you carry a, pe a pretzel on board nowadays without them charging you, right? So, because, of, because I have two consoles in my house, and I forgot to mention, I have two external drives. I got one on each. Two external drives at two terabytes. And I have all the games downloaded on both of them, the same ones. So basically, I unhook the hard drive, which is about the size of a cell phone, a smartphone, put it in my bag. 
Then what I do is when I get to my destination, I simply plug it into their Xbox One, and remember, log into the account that unlocks those games. In other words, log into the account that, um, that um, downloaded those games to begin with, and I have free access. I don't have to sit there and download games or bring discs on the plane. Now listen, if you guys have any questions on how to play games on two consoles at the same time, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. But I assure you, if you pay attention to what I just said in this video, you guys are not gonna go wrong. You guys will be just fine and uh, you guys will have fun. And believe me, both consoles that I have running in my house and I've got games on both consoles, pff, one price? How could you not want to download games? How could you want to play games off of a disc? Seriously, how, how would you, why would you want to do that? And besides, ask yourself this, when was the last time you bought a CD? Hmm? Probably been some time, right? Do you guys know anything about Netflix? You guys know, raise your hand if you know anything about Netflix. Most people are using Netflix and Hulu and other places like that. They're not buying DVDs anymore or Blu-rays. I know some of you are going, oh, I do Dave Beggs. Great, get with the times, okay? It's 2016, things going forward are going to go the digital route. Get used to it. And if you have more than one console, you guys will be successful in doing this. Believe me, it saves money. Why would you want to buy two games? It makes no sense. Anyway, guys, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. I hope I was able to answer the questions that I've been getting on how to do this. I hope I was able to explain this properly. And remember to please subscribe. Like as I said, I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers. So go ahead and leave some comments down below. I'm Dave Bags, and we will see you guys next time.